This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today I'm continuing a budding tradition of choosing a lock company and showcasing three of its worst locks with inexcusable design flaws. I featured Master Lock in video 845 and Abus in video 849. I'll link those videos below, but today we are looking at Brinks. We'll start with this brass combination padlock. It shares a flaw with the Master 175 and several other products. One can reach in between the lock body and a code wheel with a thin shim of metal, reach all the way to the back of the mechanism and unlock it. This is currently locked. Let's slip this shim into place. Press down on the shackle, down on the shim, and it opens up. Once again, locked. Press down on the shackle, down on the shim, and it is open. The flaw is well known, and I think it's inexcusable that locks with it are still being sold. Next, we have the 672 series 50 millimeter laminated steel padlocks. The problem with these is the lack of shielding behind the core. That means I can reach through with a tool like this and directly manipulate the locking mechanism. Once again, this type of exploit has been well known among security professionals probably for a few decades, and it's inexcusable that a lock sold today is still vulnerable. Finally, we have these 40 millimeter brass padlocks, and they're vulnerable to an attack that's been around since the 1930s, comb picking. All we do is slip this comb shaped tool into the keyway, press all of the key pins and driver pins above the shear line, and the core will turn. once again, inexcusable. Now, all of this is really unfortunate because each of these design flaws could have been avoided at the design stage with very little effort. Unfortunately, that effort does not seem to have been put forth. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.